welcome to my channel suzy kitchen 256 today i'm going to show you pictures of how katogo is prepared in uganda katogo we normally use bananas bananas are called matoke it's one of the most enjoyed food in uganda all around the country so you'll find it everywhere so don't be surprised when you find it and in this category recipe we normally use the ground nuts these ground nuts are grinded into a paste which we call the ground nut paste yeah why so that to preserve it and it doesn't get uh, and the peanuts don't get spoiled so today i'm going to show you different pictures of how the katogo is prepared we shall need the matoke the bananas peel them very well and wash them yeah because remember we are supposed to prepare clean food well washed yeah you remove the outer cover the green cover then when you remove the green cover you put in a pan add a uh, garden egg a uh, garden egg is an option you can put any spices that you want it's not a must that you're supposed to put garden mm -hmm. egg some people put mushrooms some people put tomatoes it depends but today we decided to use garden egg then in a pan get the groundnut paste that groundnut paste make sure you mix it very well because we want a smooth mixture which we shall use to pour into the bananas we shall also need some onions to give us a good flavor and a good aroma when cooking our katogo katogo is the name of the dish then in a pan uh, of uh, the paste put some onions some carrots and some uh, tomatoes to give it that good flavor mm, so that you can salive it when it's cooked then add some water mix it very well remember i said we are supposed to get a smooth water mixture to use it then on a low heat put this groundnut paste and cook it don't put so much heat why when you put so much heat this katogo this um groundnut paste will pour outside so cook it at a low heat cook it slowly as you mix it yeah so that it doesn't get burned because we need we need to put it in our bananas then here it's finally ready yeah we are going to mix it with our bananas and the eggplant then these bananas and the eggplant put them on fire to cook like for one hour yeah one hour 30 minutes it depends then on top of those bananas put banana leaves why banana leaves are very good in giving in bringing out that good aroma in the food most especially if it's raw food like the matoke the banana leaves are very good it, it gives it that good aroma and taste now finally our bananas are ready and the eggplant we shall add our mixture the groundnut paste yeah just look at how delicious this dish is and finally our dish is served the katogo the most eaten food from my country yeah katogo kebinyewa that's how we call it in my mother language so you don't need so many ingredients and it doesn't take a lot of time so let me hope you enjoyed my video and for all those who are new kindly subscribe like and share and comment and thank you so much for your support let's meet in the next video bye bye